In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get instant pressure against trips tight end, even when they block their tight end and their running back out of what I would argue against anybody is probably the best pass protection that you could possibly have in this year's game. Now, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Also, if you're new to the channel, I'm talking today about the nickel triple formation out of the Chicago Defensive Playbook. If you want to get my full defensive ebook on this, uh, go ahead and join our Patreon. My Patreon membership will be linked in the description below. By joining that for just $10 a month, you're going to get access to not only the nickel triple ebook, but literally every ebook that I have. I've got 14 offensive and defensive ebooks instantly available to you right now on the Patreon. A ton of exclusive tips, pro player breakdowns. And we update the Patreon pretty much every week uh, with new content multiple times a week. So if you want to get better at this game, the Patreon, I think, will really help you become a better Madden player. So if you want to check that out, there will be a link in the description below. And, guys, I want to talk today about PA Countergo. Now, I have to tell you, um, Trips Tied In is certainly rising in popularity. It's what I personally run. As you can see, I've called almost 2,500 uh, PA Countergoes myself. I've called it a lot. Like, it's... It's a very, very good uh, passing concept, but what makes it so special is the blocking mechanics that you're gonna get and find within this. Now, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here uh, for just a second. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the bunch real quick, and I wanna just show this, and then we're gonna talk about the trip side end blitz. So I'm just gonna come out in cover two man, and I've talked about this before on the channel. All we're gonna do is we're gonna show blitz, we're going to slide this guy in so that he's on the contain. We're going to stand, you know, kind of right here. If we want to put a guy in man coverage, we can. Or we can just walk this guy down, put him in man on the tight end, and then it gives us a, a user, basically, right? But what I'm going to do defensively or offensively is I'm going to max protect. And what you're going to see is this blitz is going to absolutely scream against bunch. It's a, it's a five-man pressure. It's probably, in my opinion, one of the best ways you can blitz a gun bunch consistently. Um, so real simple, right? The problem is it's not that simple whenever you start talking about trips tight end because of the type of formation that trips tight end is. You you do have an access point. What I mean by an access point is you have a side that you can blitz, and this is arguably why a lot of the top trips tight end players got out of this. So I'm just going to come out in the play curl flat first, and we're just going to come out in cover three cloud. What you're going to notice is we get this little blitzing alignment right here. So we're just going to blitz this guy right off the edge. And then we're just gonna use her kind of right in here. And what you'll see is we'll be able to create a five-man blitzing concept. Looks very similar to the bunch blitz, right? Looks very, very similar. Now, if I block, if I max protect here, uh, what you'll see is we'll do exactly the same thing. We're gonna man up the running back with this linebacker, and we're gonna stand right here. And what you're gonna notice is we typically will still be able to get this blitz in, but look at that right there. You notice that little quick, little glitch, um, little problem that we have. Uh, or that we run into within this concept is a couple different things. One of the one of the problems is because this guy right here, Wilson, is not a linebacker. Um, he gets dumbed out for whatever reason. He's also not a safety. That those two things combined, they really don't bode bode well for how he's going to react when he's in a contain. You'll see right here. Sometimes he'll come in. Sometimes he won't. As you see right there, he comes in against Max Protect. So we could end the video right there. And you would feel like you've got a really good plan for trips tight end. That is, until you face PA counter go. And I'm going to show you why this is such a problem. And the, why it just drives me crazy trying to blitz trips tight end. And why most people that defend trips tight end, they actually don't blitz it. Because this play is so good at picking up blitzes. Just with, I mean, very simple adjustments. So we're going to run the same exact blitz. But this time we're going to show it against PA counter go. What you're going to notice here, literally exactly the same. We've manned up the running back. We've got this guy right here in a, in a zone. We're going to hold left trigger to kind of hold the line. And then what you're going to notice here is at the snap of the ball, I'm just going to cancel the play action. And as you see, he's going to pick up the blitz. And now I can throw the ball. Let me show you exactly what's going on here and why this is so good. So it's different than, you know, just kind of a standard block running back. Typically contains will glitch out running backs, but... When you do it from play action, you see here, not only we got play action, watch, he just literally, I mean, he'll just pick it up every time. Literally every time, um, as long as you cancel the play action, okay? Now, let me, show, let me show you something else. If you're playing against someone that doesn't quite know what they're doing, then yes, uh, what you'll see here is they won't cancel the play action, 
And because they don't cancel it, the running back goes to the right and he doesn't pick up the pressure. If you cancel the play action, though, the running back literally will, like a missile, run to that, that side and pick up that blitz. Why this creates a problem is, well, you think, well, okay, Cody, well, why don't you just blitz off of this edge? Okay, well, that's a great idea. So if I just blitz this safety off the edge here, what you'll notice is if I release this guy, you'll see he actually psychically turns to the right and takes it away as well. So it puts me in a position where I can't really blitz off the left, I can't really blitz off the right, not to mention we haven't even talked about blocking the tight end yet. And so we have a lot of challenges within blitzing this formation. I think there's a lot more challenges to blitzing trips tight end than people originally realized in this season. And so uh, I want to give you a video or a, a concept today that I've labbed up. It's pretty much the best blitz that I've got for trips tight end. It's fairly consistent. It's going to be 100% consistent if they don't run PA counter go. If they do run PA counter go, I would say it's fairly consistent. It's probably about 80, 85% consistent. Um, and, and we'll show you why. And it really is 100% consistent. It's just if you screw up your setup, that's where it really kind of uh, causes some issues. So we're actually going to use this play cover three sky uh, out of this. And the reason why is because I want, you know, I kind of want the alignment that I get out of cover three. I also want the zones. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to come out. Now at the play call menu, um, if you know you're facing trips tied in and you know that they never flip their trips, then you could turn auto flip off and then just manually do that. We want this linebacker that's in the gap on the other side. So we're just going to flip our play. Now notice what that's going to do. It's going to bring our nickel corner over here. And then we're going to be, you know, kind of in this uh, situation here. It also puts this linebacker here. And that's really the key to this, this tip. So then from there, all we're going to do um, is we're going to press. You'll see here we can slide this guy in if we want to. Uh, but really, we're going to press. We're going to globally blitz our linebackers. And we're just going to stand right here with our user. And that's pretty much it, <laughs> honestly. And, and what you'll see here is if they block with that, you're going to see you're either going to get a gap or you're going to get edge. Um, if, they, if they just run that simple blocking mechanic where they're just going to block the running back and, and try to pick up everything with that, it's going to be very hard. Now, again, you are sending six here. So, you know, make no mistake about it. We are sending heavy pressure. Um, if we wanted to, we could potentially uh, drop one of these defensive linemen, but I personally wouldn't. Um, now, the cool part about this is we are sending six against six, right? So, you know, again, we're still getting a plus one advantage. But the other thing that I wanted to quickly point out, and there I messed up my user. You, one of the things really important with the user, you've got to get over the top of that tackle. If you don't get over the top of the tackle, it's really problematic for the, the concept as you just saw. So your job is really to try to get this left tackle to commit to you as a user. So you're just going to basically hold left trigger, take a step forward, and then jump into coverage on that number three receiver right there I think is really important. So again, you'll see here, come down, jump into coverage, and you see how that works. It's really fast pressure too, by the way. It's, it's not slow by any means. Now, this also can work against max protect. Um, it does. It's definitely not as good against Max Protect. You know that that's another reason why I think trip side in is so underrated. Most people think you can just blitz it, and you really can't. Um, but anyways, this concept, for the most part, will work against Max Protect. I'm going to show you one little way you can improve upon this. But again, you're just going to come down, and as you see, he's really close. You basically what you have to get is you have to get the A gap guy to come in. And then the edge guys. So you're trying to get two basic blitzers to come free here. Now the way that I would recommend doing so is actually to not flip it. Um, so you would just kind of be in your standard standard setup here, right? Now the really important thing you have to do though is you're going to have this guy. This is your safety. You're going to go ahead and hot blitz him off the edge. QB contain. Okay. So we've got that. Now this is also going to help in case they try to roll out. This guy is going to become your underneath curl, to flint, uh, curl flat defender or underneath defender, however, whatever zone you want to put him on. This guy, you're going to blitz him, but you're going to move him to the right in between the guard and the center. And the placement is kind of the key to the blitz. And then you're going to bring this guy down. So now you see here, we're basically in the same concept. It's just now we're sending an edge rusher as opposed to an interior rusher. What we think that's going to happen here is we're going to open up this A gap and try to get this because we've got to get the eye to come through the a gap that's really the goal here because if he comes through the a gap then this guy off the edge will be able to come free so again we're going to kind of stand right here and what you'll see is we got the a gap pressure to come in 
So those are two kind of ways that you could run this concept. Obviously the second one is a little bit better for uh, Max Protect, but it is a little bit more labor intensive in terms of how you have to go about setting up everything. By and large, it's still the same basic blitz and it's still the same basic coverage. It's just a little bit better against Max Protect. I wanna thank you for watching the video. If you want more in-depth tutorials and you wanna get all, access to all of my stuff, join the Patreon. This stuff right here that we're sharing on YouTube is really good, but you don't quite get the whole story. You don't get quite the whole scheme. Um, so I would really encourage you to join the Patreon. We got 14 eBooks available over at the Patreon membership for literally just 10 bucks a month. Just 10 bucks a month unlocks everything. You don't have to. You don't have to sign up for a year. If you if you do sign up for a year, it does save you some money. But it's month to month. You can cancel whenever you want. But as soon as you sign up, you get access to everything. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to check out the Patreon, head on down to the description of the video and click the link that I put down there and uh, go check out some of those eBooks.